greetings once again from the Kenyan teacher. We hope this channel comes in handy to try to offer online help to those students who may have challenges in chemistry. We discuss percentage purity in this video. So straight to the question, you are provided with solution A containing 5 gram mixture of sodium carbonate and sodium chloride in 1 liter of solution. We are also given 0.1 molar sulfuric 6 acid and that is solution B. So we are being told that uh, 5.6 cubic centimeters of solution B was required to completely react with 25 cubic centimeter of solution A. Now before we go into the calculations, we need to know that solution A has a mixture of sodium carbonate and sodium chloride. It is only one of the substances in this mixture that will react with the sulfuric acid and that is sodium carbonate. Sodium chloride normally doesn't react with dilute sulfuric 6 acid. So in this kind of a reaction, our sodium carbonate is the one that is going to react with sulfuric 6 acid. Then sodium chloride is acting as our impurity in this reaction. So the aim of this kind of uh, experiment is to calculate the percentage purity of the substance that will take part in the reaction. So the first part of the question is asking you to calculate the number of moles of solution B that were used. Mm -hmm. And as usual, we have always told our students to use the first principle approach in answering such kind of questions. So the answer here would be quite easy. The volume that is here in 0.1 molar sulfuric acid is actually 1 liter. So the answer here would be that if 1000 cubic centimeter is 0.1 molar, we only used 5.6 cubic centimeter. So 5.6 cubic centimeter would end up containing how many moles? Simple cross multiplication gives 5.6 times 0.1 divided by 1000 and our answer becomes 0 0.00056 moles for part A. Moving on to part B, we are asked number of moles of sodium carbonate in mixture A. Now, with the information about sulfuric 6 acid acting as solution B, for solution for mixture A, we only have the information about the mass. You can see it here, 5 grams, and again, the whole of these 5 grams is not sodium carbonate. It is the mixture. So this mass here may not even be very useful. It has been dissolved in a liter of solution. But... We know if we can write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction that took place, we are able to get mole ratios and that is what is going to help us answer our part B. So in the reaction, sodium carbonate in the mixture is reacting with sulfuric 6 acid and we are able to get sodium sulfate sodium sulfate, sorry. We are able to get some carbon 4 oxide and we are able to get some water as well. So looking at these, we end up having a mole ratio of 1 is to 1. The mole ratio between sodium carbonate, which is actually what we are being asked here, sodium carbonate in the mixture, to our dilute acid, sulfuric 6 acid, we see is 1 is to 1 because our equation is balanced. So therefore, 
the number of moles of sodium carbonate is in mixture A is the same as number of moles of sulfuric 6 acid because mole ratio is 1 is to 1. So again, moles of carbonate would be the same as moles of sulfuric acid and we get 0 0.00056 moles. With this, we have answered the question. Now, next, part C, we are being asked to find molarity of sodium carbonate in mixture A. Molarity is simply number of moles per liter. Now, if you look at moles of sodium carbonate used, they are 0 0.0056. Now, what volume did we use in our reaction? It's clearly indicated here that 25 cubic centimeter of solution A was used. So you relate those two to a liter of solution to get your answer to part C. And it becomes so easy that if the volume used, 25 cubic centimeter, was able to contain 0 0.00056 moles, how many moles would we have in one liter of solution? Quick cross multiplication, 1000 times 0 0.00056 divided by 25. And we get our answer as 0 0.0224 molar. That becomes our molarity of the sodium carbonate solution. Or rather, sodium carbonate in our solution A. To the next page, we are being asked to find the percentage purity of sodium carbonate in mixture A. Molarity, we have been able to get a 0 0.0224. So for us to get the percentage purity, we need the mass mass of the uh, sodium carbonate that was in the mixture. And how do we get mass? For us to get mass, we need to work out the relative formula mass. And this should be, sodium carbonate is written like this. So the RFM will be 2 of sodiums, that will be 46. Add to 12 for carbon, and we add to 48 for 3 oxygen atoms. If we do this addition, we are able to get 106. So getting mass, we would multiply our RFM by the molarity. And this gives us a mass of 2.3744 grams. So student, this is the mass out of the original 5 grams sodium carbonate that took part in the reaction. So, to get percentage purity, we would get this mass as 2.3744 divided by our 5 gram which was original in the mixture and then we multiply by 100%. This gives us a percentage purity of 47.48 percent as the answer. The next question is asking us to find the number of moles of sodium chloride in the mixture. So here we will start by getting the RFM of sodium chloride and this should be 23 you add to 35.5 that gives you 58.5 as the relative formula mass. Then, from our mass of sodium carbonate, we can be able to get mass of sodium chloride by subtracting from 5, which was the original mass of the mixture. From 5, we shall subtract the mass of sodium carbonate, which we got as 2.3744. This gives mass of sodium chloride as 2.6256. So with this RFM and the mass, we are simply getting the number of moles of sodium chloride by dividing the mass that we have 
by its relative formula mass and that gives us 0 0.04488 moles as the moles of sodium chloride that were available. Finally, we are asked to find molarity of sodium chloride in mixture A. And here, I want to repeat that molarity is simply number of moles per liter. So if you remember, we again used 25 cubic centimeter of our mixture A. So these moles were present in 25 cubic centimeter. So to get the answer for part F, you would argue that if 25 cubic centimeter is giving us 0 0.04488 moles, how much would one liter give us? So simple close multiplication, 1000 times 0 0.04488 we divide by 25 and our answer becomes 1.7952 molar sodium chloride. Student, that is the end of that short video where we have told you how percentage purity of a substance can be calculated. Thank you for watching.